Okay, so now let's talk about f of x equals cosine of x. And what I want to do is I want to graph this on a x and y or an x and f of x axis. So to understand that, what we need to understand is, again, going back to the unit circle. Now, when creating the unit circle, remember there's some important points that we have for our certain angles, which we have 1 comma 0, 0 comma 1, negative 1 comma 0, and 0 comma negative 1. So in looking at these important points, right, these are all going to be your intercepts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to evaluate my cosine function at these certain points for its certain angles. So at this angle, on, for this certain point, my angle is 0, 0 radians. Here I have pi over 2 radians. For this angle, I have uh, pi radians. And over here, I have 3 pi over 2 radians. So remember, if I wanted to figure out like what was the cosine of pi, remember that represents the x value on the unit circle. So the cosine of pi is negative 1. So let's see what that would look like on a standard graph that we would have. And rather than using like an xy graph, I'm going to call this an f of x, since we're dealing with a function, an x-axis. So let's look at when cosine of x for our 0 degree angle. So in cosine, so the cosine of 0 degrees is the x value, which is 1. So I'm going to go up to 1 and make a nice little dot. Then our next angle is at the cosine of 1 is pi over 2. At the cosine of pi over 2, my angle is 0. At cosine of negative 1, I'm sorry, at cosine of pi, I have a value of negative 1. So I'm going to go down to negative 1. Then at cosine of 3 pi over 2, I am back up to 0. And I need a little bit more space. And then at cosine of pi, you can, or a cosine of 2 pi, I'm back over up at 1. So now to connect these points, I'm going to create what we call the cosine curve. Now it's important for this cosine curve can also is going to continually keep on going back and forth with the exact same pattern. And we can also go in the negative direction. So let's look at it. If I did negative pi over 2, the cosine value is 0. At negative pi, my cosine value is negative 1. At negative 3 pi over 2, so if I go negative 3 pi over 2, my cosine value is 0. And at cosine of negative 2 pi, my value is back up at 1. So you can see as connecting these points, I'm now able to graph my cosine function. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's a quick little description of how to graph the cosine curve. Thanks.